Good day to you, 9th and O. This is Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. I'm Brandon, one of the pastoral interns. It's good to be with you today. In our study, Jesus' final week, we come to the day known as Silent Wednesday. This is the betrayal of Jesus. Uh, the Gospels do not record any activity for Jesus on this day. Therefore, we have called it, tradition calls it, Silent Wednesday. Look with me in Luke chapter 22, verses 1 through uh, 6. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes were seeking how to put him to death, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the number of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers how he might betray him to them. And they were glad and agreed to give him money. So he consented and sought an opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of a crowd. This is very a very interesting account that tells us that Satan entered into Judas. This is only recorded here in Luke and Judas is a greedy person. In several different accounts we always find that Judas uh, is greedy. Um, when when uh, Mary anointed Jesus' feet just a few uh, in John chapter 12 uh, Judas claims that uh, that the ointment is worth 300 denarii, which is about, uh, you know, that's a lot. And, uh, but he, wa he wanted the money to be given to the poor. Uh, Judas at that time, his heart was not really thinking about the poor as much as he was thinking of, let's get this money in the treasury and I'm going to take a couple of, I'm going to take some out for myself. And so Judas often would help himself to what was put into it. And don't you know, Jesus knew every time that Judas skimmed the top of that money bag and kept some for himself. He knew Jesus would wash Judas' feet and he knew that Judas would betray him. <sighs> Judas exchanges Jesus uh, for, for 30 pieces of silver. That's four months of wages for a day laborer in that time. And if you think that is such a small price on the life of the one who is the giver of all life. Dr. Cook reminds us in his book that this is an indication for people who can go so far in religion and not be saved. Judas failed to follow Jesus in wholehearted devotion. So for us, we need to examine our hearts. We need to consider um, our lifestyle and that our lifestyle is a reflection of pointing people toward Jesus rather than pushing them away from Jesus. In other words, we don't want to betray our commitment to Christ by the way that we choose to live. May it be said of us that we will point others to Christ, that we will not be the one to betray our Lord. 